in the desert dust of northern Mali, UN officials on the ground heading off to pave the way for their new peacekeeping mission. They've been flown into Kidal, a town that has no local administration. The French have few troops there. Their transport plane limits risk with only a few minutes on the ground. Their main offensive is over. And in Timbuktu, they've handed over to troops from the small West African state of Burkina Faso. Here, 28 civilian police have been flown in to start what could be a long, hazardous process of forming a non-military administration. It's in Gao, where the bulk of French forces are based now, and here, on another transport plane, Defence Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian flies in to address his troops and officers, along with their African counterparts. We know that now that they know the French is moving out, they will want to test us. That concern was left hanging. In the sweltering desert heat, Le Drion moved on to pay homage to the five French troops killed in their offensive. And he assured everyone that France would keep a thousand troops here for counterinsurgency operations. But it all begs a question. Surely you must agree that peacekeeping is one thing, and really it could be argued there isn't a peace to keep right now. As soon as the UN agrees a resolution like this, they're saying that peace has been restored. We're here in case of the return of limited terrorist threats. We'll do counter-terrorism work if it's needed. I hope it won't be. Ladrion leaves Gao having spelt out to the troops on the ground and their officers the way he sees forward in this crisis. But the future remains uncertain. There are many questions left unanswered. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Gao.